Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper. What you see here is a new inverter that I got, an Etikoa, which is a Chinese inverter, but I've had some really good experiences with this particular inverter, and I have, I have the same exact one operating in my uh, battery box, which I'll show you here. Same exact inverter in the battery box. And this is a 300 amp hour battery box that I have 600 watts of solar power hooked up to. <clears throat> I put it inside of a uh, Stanley toolbox. I have other videos on it. Uh, so I have the same one. It's a 3500 watt. And you see the connections here. Uh, negative on this side, positive on this side. But they're really short. And I wanted to test the other one. The new one that I got in. And I couldn't get the terminals, uh, the connections to reach it. So I had to turn the uh, inverter upside down for the connections to reach. And unfortunately, late at night and stupidity, I reversed polarity the uh, connections. I put the negative on the positive and the positive on the negative. And it only... It only touched it for a second and dumb again I have a battery disconnect switch I should have done that I should have really shut that off first but I didn't I was in a rush and I did it was a mistake I'm human it is what it is so I was reading the instructions and what you have here are uh, fuses. This is supposed to have polarity reverse protection. And there are 12, and you see those empty fuse uh, ports right there. There's 12 30 amps. There's one, there's four here, there's four there, and hopefully you can see those green 30 amp fuses right, right here. Okay? I already changed those. So I ordered 50 30 amp fuses because you can use them anywhere, right? Off of Amazon for like five bucks. But for me, I couldn't wait till tomorrow, which is Monday. I just need to know if I wasted a couple hundred dollars on this because usually they're like 350. I got it for 200. So I want to know if I wasted a couple hundred dollars on this and I fried it as soon as I got it. So I went to Tractor Supply and I got some fuses. And I had to buy eight of them, eight of the 30 amp, but they only had six in packs. So I had to get some assorted packs. So it ended up costing me another $25. So we're going to see if uh, by changing these that it really does have polarity uh, reverse um, protection. So you're going to see it as I do. All right, so we have it hooked up. You see there's my old inverter and here's my new one. And you see what I mean? The negative and the positive are opposite. So late at night I just switched them, assuming they were the same, forgetting that I had it upside down. And I screwed it up. So I turned on the uh, battery disconnect switch and the moment of truth is coming. We gotta turn. Okay so what I have is I have it hooked up right here. This is a remote and a good sign which I wasn't seeing before is this little light by the uh, remote switch. So that's a good positive sign and thank God it looks like it's working uh, you can't see the LED right there but it shows it shows uh, the temperature it shows the voltage 12.7 uh, output 121 volts 
and there's no amperage coming into it right now or going out actually but I have plugged into it uh, the refrigerator in my place so if it's working this refrigerator should be working so let's let's look thank the Lord we are working and yes my refrigerator is empty I need to go shopping but I didn't waste a couple hundred dollars that I thought I did last night last night was not a good night I even dropped in this these come with little washers and the wa one of the washers dropped inside all the way down so I had to take this thing out which was not a, that big of a deal but you know just added to the aggravation but in any event it appears that we're working fine the last thing would be turning this remote on and the remote works you see the battery is full on off right there so that basically uh, I could turn it on and off right there which is great all right so we uh, fix that score one for the Chinese it actually does have uh, reverse polarity protection and granted that it only touched but it was enough to blow out 12 30 amp fuses so keep that in mind kids when you are uh, trying to do things late at night even though you try and do things as men as uh, safe as possible and as careful as possible mistakes do happen so you learn from it and you move on in any event uh, everything works out and we're good to go and as always uh, thanks for watching and keep prepping Vermont prepper out take care